Liz Angel here. So today we're gonna be making um, a drawing of houses on stilts. And um, we are gonna particularly be talking about Chiloé Island in Chile. So Chile is a country on the left side of South America and it um, is right next to the Pacific Ocean. And so a lot of the houses are built on stilts so that way um, people can fish from their houses. Um, it's protected from the water, so if the tide, when the tide comes in and if the water is really high, their houses are protected, they're not right on the ground. Um, and then when the tide is low, which means it comes down lower, um, again, their houses are still up high and they're protected. So today you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil, and you can choose to do um, maybe one really big house on stilts, or maybe you want to do uh, turn it over this way and do maybe five. Um, but just for right now, I am going to start, and we're going to start at the bottom of the paper, and you're going to use pencil. Remember that you have Sharpie, and I am just going to make a boat because it's important. Um, that is a lot of the fishermen are out there fishing, so I just make two little lines. And then I'm gonna make a curve line to connect it. You can make your boat however you want. And then I'm gonna make it look like water, so I'm just gonna make a wavy line down here. And just connect that. Now I'm going to make um, a little covered part right here. And again, you can make yours however you want. Put some little windows in here. Then maybe I'll put a little, um, I'll up two little windows here. Make some lines so it looks like wood. And again, you can do your boat however you want. And then I'm also gonna put a fishing pole right here, so I'm gonna do a little line right here. And I'm gonna make a bump right there, a bump right there, and bump right there. And then my line will go into the water. So our next step is we're going to make another um, line right here that looks like water. And we're going to start to make our stilt houses. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here and I want to make um, an L shape, a long L. And I'm going to do three houses and they're going to be kind of skinny. And then I'm going to come up, I'm going to go across and make a roof and then I'm going to make a diagonal line kind of coming that way and another one going this way and then I'm going to connect it so it's like a chopped off triangle or a trapezoid. Next I'm going to make the um, the stilts and you want to make sure um, usually there's a lot more uh, pieces of wood like I'm just going to put two and then I'm going to put a little cross in the middle Usually on stilt houses, there's a lot more than just two pieces of wood because it needs to build up the whole house. But for drawing purposes and coloring purposes, we're just gonna do a few. If you wanna add a couple more, that's fine. Then I am going to make a, um, like a little balcony, so I'm gonna make a little line here. And down, down, go across. lines so it looks like you could walk around the house now I can do windows you can you know make you know whichever kind of windows you want I don't put a ton in them um, just because it's not super big and I also put like a border around it so I can keep some of that white Maybe you want to add, you know, a door in the middle, or this one might be the back of the house. Now I'm going to move on to the other one, and I'm going to make a larger L. So I'm going to make a bigger L across here, and again, it's kind of skinny. And if you notice, these are just basic shapes, guys. There are lots of rectangles, squares. The same thing here. I'm going to go um, out and out. 
notes. And then again, the same thing, I'm gonna put my stilts. This one I might do, maybe I do three pieces of wood. And then again, if you choose to do um, the little X's inside, you can the little crisscrosses pieces of wood. You do not have to. And then maybe I do another set that I'm doing. Again, it's totally up to you what you want to do. And then again, the same thing. I'm going to make another little balcony. So I just make lines, and then again, I do another little line. We're going to color it in so it's okay. Now, I am going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to put another little awning, so I'm going to put a line here, come out, out, hold it, and then I'm going to just make some lines on here, and then I'm going to put a door in here, so there's my door, maybe I put a little edge around it, there's my door, and then I might do some windows again, I just do rectangles and squares and then up here I might do a really long window. Now it's not perfect but that's okay. And then I might add some lines up here for the roof. Okay. Now for the next one. Again the same thing. Um make that L shape and then come up. This one I'm gonna make a like a triangle, and then go up and down, and then I'm going to make a brick, and then I will make another, um, of these stilts again, or maybe this one, I'm not going to put an X in it, um, or I can, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do again. Again, I want to make sure that there is a balcony so that they can walk out and not fall. Now, I'm going to do, probably, I'm going to do a door over here. This one just might be a little bit different than the others. And then I'm just going to make maybe a big window up here. And then maybe another you know, window here and here. Now that I have the houses on stilts and I have my boat, I'm gonna add maybe one more um, wave back here. So I'm gonna make a wavy line. I'm not drawing through the stilts. I'm not drawing right or through. I'm drawing so I'm like skipping when I come to a line. I'm gonna skip. And then if you feel that you need more waves, you can. But right now, you can decide if you want this to be a nighttime scene or a daytime scene. If you wanted a nighttime scene, you could put a, um, a moon in the sky. If you wanted a sun, you could just leave it. Or you could obviously put a circle and put some clouds. But now for the coloring part. So when you do the coloring part, um, your water, you're gonna wanna do obviously um, different kinds of blue. So what I did is I grabbed um, a bunch of different shades of blue, and I'm gonna kind of color in my water. Um, you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have, um, but I'm just gonna start kind of at the bottom. And the houses um, in Chiloway, on Chiloway Island, are really, really bright colored. Like, they're almost, um, they're super colorful. Like, you might have a yellow house, an orange house, a red house. You have so many different colors, which is what is gonna be super fun about when you put a color this, is lots and lots of bright colors. So you can kind of have fun with it, you know, um, 
typically we wouldn't see like necessarily a purple or an orange house, but lots of bright colors um, down there, which is very, very, very cool. So again, I just used a blue here, and then I might use a different shade here, um, and then a lighter shade up there. So I'm gonna fast forward this so you guys can see that. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start coloring my boat and my stilt houses. And then I might do a sunset in the sky with crayons, so I just might you know, kind of mix a bunch of colors together. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Here's my finished um, houses on stilts. And if you notice, like I just went, um, I did some bright colors. And then for the um, background, cause I wanted a sunset, I lightly started at the top, I shaded with red. Then I went to orange. Then I used yellow. And then I took that yellow and I went all the way back up over all of the orange and the red, just to kind of give it a nice little sunset feel. So I can't wait to see what you create and um, have fun. See you later.